Jerry of the Circus. Jerry of the circus. Be quiet, Rag. Oh, hello there, Mr. Randall. What you doing? Uh, is that you, Jerry? So dark yep, out here. me and Rag. Oh, man, I'm just making the rounds. I've had so much to attend to all day, I've scarcely been outside the office wagon. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I just finished settling some business with Mr. Thomas, the bookkeeper, and decided I'd better get out and stretch my legs a bit. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. Then you can see how much work everyone's done today, too. Well, yeah, that's just what I'm noticing. My orders couldn't have been carried out better if I'd done it myself. <laughs> Were you able to borrow all the money you needed, Mr. Randall? Well, it's going to be taken care of, all right. Mr. Thomas and I have just been going over that very thing. <laughs> Boy, that's sure an awful lot of money. Mm, not for putting a circus in shape, it's not. We're, uh, we're only going to borrow it for 30 days, anyhow. You mean you'll be able to pay it back by then? Well, I certainly hope so. But I should think it'd take a year, Mr. Randall. <laughs> you, you forget, Jerry, that the circus is an all-year-round job, but it only makes money during the season. Yeah, I can see that. So, although it seems like an awful lot of money to make in so short a time, it's got to pay tremendous bills all the year round, or the circus wouldn't be a going concern. I guess that's so, all right. Yeah. I think we'll be able to square ourselves in a month. If not, then we'll just have to get an extension on the loan. You see, uh, we don't want to pay interest on so much money for longer than necessary. Oh, of course not. Uh, have you seen Jason, Jerry? No, he didn't come in to dinner. No? Someone said he's been awful busy with the lions. Oh, well, I thought I'd drop by and see him. I'd like to see him myself. I got so busy helping Uncle Dan this afternoon that... Gee, we showed hundreds of people over the lot today. Mm. Mm, boy, they sure went for that idea, though, it is. Yeah, yes, he brought me the receipts a little while ago. Uh, if he can do as well again tomorrow, it'll help us quite a bit. He's a smart man, your uncle. He's swell, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, say, Mr. Randall. Mm, what is it, Jerry? While you're making the rounds, you better stop by and see Whitey. He's been having trouble with Lady and Splendor tonight. Well, what's the matter? Oh, I don't know. They wouldn't eat, and they both acted so nervous and funny that... Well, you don't say. Whitey's awful upset. He's not sure whether they're just nervous as a result of that cyclone or whether something's really wrong. Well, I'll drop by and see. Those horses are so highly bred, they're... They're likely to be more sensitive than some, some animals. They sure are abuse, both of them. Now who's coming, Ray? Hey, Ray? Are you oh. there, Jerry? Oh, Patsy, sure, Mr. Randall and me. Oh, Mr. Randall, too. Say, that is luck. I was just coming to see you, Mr. Randall. Well, that's nice, Patsy. You know, I'm always happy to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Sure, we all are. Aren't we, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you people certainly know how to make me feel welcome. Well, uh, uh, I was going to ask you a favor, Mr. Randall. All right, Patsy, what is it? I I can't any more than say no. <laughs> well, uh, I just heard that we're not opening until we hit Harper City. That's right. Two days and this outfit should be in shape. There isn't really much of anything I can do around here to help. My costumes and things are all in shape, and I was wondering if you'd mind if I went on ahead and waited for the circus in Harper City. Well, I don't see why not. Oh, that's awfully nice of you, Mr. Randall. You see, this inheritance thing has come up, and I'm supposed to see some lawyers there. No, oh, that's right. I uh, forgot all about that, Patsy. Gee whiz, that's your exciting, Patsy. Do you know yet what... Uh, so far, I don't know a thing about it, Jerry. But the estate is being handled from there, and I thought it would simplify matters if I could get there and have things cleared up before we open. Well, it's a very good idea. Those inheritance things often involve a lot of red tape. Mm, don't I know that. All the trouble I had trying to get that safety deposit box Dad left. Why, it was weeks and weeks. So you see, an extra day or so there might, might help out a lot. My dear young lady, you go right ahead. We'll miss you, but you go ahead. Uh, when were you planning to leave? 
Well, there's a night train leaving here about 11 o'clock. Mm. I'll be there in the morning. Well, that's fine, Patsy. Uh, got someone to take you to the station? Oh, I can manage. I'm used to taking care of myself. I'll tell you what, Patsy. Uh-huh. We're going to see Jason now. I'll tell him you're leaving, and he and I'll ride over with you, huh? Oh, that's sweet of you, Jerry. But it isn't at all necessary. Ah, oh, gee, we'd love to. Mr. Randall and I were just heading for Jason now. He missed dinner, and we wanted to see what was wrong. Yeah, it's the detective in us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jerry. But uh, if it's inconvenient, don't, don't you bother. I'll be in my wagon packing. I've got a good hour yet. Okay, I'll be over in a jiffy. So long, Patsy. Bye, Jerry. Uh, goodbye, Patsy. Mm, take good care of yourself. I will. And thanks loads, Mr. Randall. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot you, Rags. Bye, and you'll be a good dog. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, she's swell, isn't she, Mr. Randall? Yeah, one of the nicest girls I've ever met in the circus business, and that's saying something. Well, here are the cages. Yeah. Gee, it's kind of dark along here. Mm -hmm. Seems funny this early in the evening not having it all lit up for the show. Mm, it does, doesn't it, Jerry? Yeah. Almost like a ghost circus. I wonder where Jason could be. Well, that's strange. I can't imagine he's leaving the lot. Hey, what's that? Well, sounds like a good, healthy snore to me. Do lions snore like that? I never noticed before. Mm, sounds a little too human to me. Oh, here it comes from this bale of hay. Jason! Oh. <laughs> He's sound asleep, Mr. Yeah, Randall. Sir. So that's why he didn't come to dinner. Oh, uh, don't wake him up, Jerry. You mean you think he slept right through? Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Poor man, he's probably exhausted. He was worried early this morning about Street, mm. that panther of his. And then with a the cyclone and all, he probably was all in. Well, uh, come on, Jerry. We'd we better let him sleep. Hmm? Hmm? What's that? Who's there? Oh, gee, we didn't mean to wake you, Jason. I asleep? <laughs> Were you asleep? <laughs> Listen, man, you, you should have heard yourself snore. <laughs> really? Was it bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just got your prize panther all worked up, that's all. Yeah, poor streak. He's been wild all day. Well, did, uh, did you sleep through dinner, Jason? No, Slade brought me a bite. But I didn't want to leave Streak. He's mean today. I'm not sure what's wrong. No, probably just the after effects of the cyclone. Mm, probably. But he's too valuable to risk. So I thought I'd camp out here tonight just in case. Besides, he gets the lions in such a lather, I've got to quiet him down every now and then. Well, you know best, Jason. Doesn't look like a very comfortable bed, though. Say, I'd sure like to sleep out here with you, Jason. Well, any excuse for a change, huh, Jerry? No, but, <laughs> well, I might be of some help if... Sure, well... Jerry, it's okay with me. Better bring along a blanket, though. This hay isn't too soft. Gee, I'd love sleeping out here under the stars. You're not afraid the lions will keep you awake? No, of course not. <laughs> all right, nothing I can do for you, Jason. Uh, sure things will be all right? Sure, Mr. Randall. Oh, say, Jerry, when you get your own blanket, you might bring me one from my bunk. Of course, I'd be glad to. Oh, say, Jason, I forgot. What? It's about Patsy. Oh, nothing's happened, has it? Oh, no, of course not. But she's leaving, and I said you and I'd take her down to the station. Leaving the circus? What are you talking oh, about? Oh, uh, no, no, Jason. She's just going on to Harbor City. She's got that inheritance business to attend to. She'll be there when we open. Oh, well, that's different. But what about taking her down to the station tonight? I'd sure like to, but... Uh, I think you'd better not leave your animals, huh, Jason? Well, it really would be better for me to stay here. Oh, that's okay, Jason. I'll explain. But I'll tell you what. I'll take her down myself. She's got to have a... Uh, an escort? And, uh, yeah. And I'd better run along and tell her you've got to stick with your lions. Oh, that's a shame. And I'd like so much to take her to the train. Oh, don't you worry about Patsy. She'll understand. She's a grand trooper. Well, yes, I'd better get going. Okay, Jerry. Hey, don't forget about my blanket when you come back. No, I won't. Good night, Mr. Randall. Good night, Jerry, and take good care of our Patsy. Oh, I sure will. <laughs> come on, Ray. <Rick. laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a nice kid. He certainly is. The whole Dugan family's mighty fine stock. And is he proud to be escorting Patsy all alone to the station? Yeah, he's growing up fast, getting to be quite a little gentleman. <laughs> Where have you been all evening? No, not so fast, all girl. Who do you think you are talking I to? I know, I know. But I've been looking all over you since... Since what? Since I heard about Patsy. Did you know she was leaving tonight? What? Leaving? Oh, what are you saying, Olga? Patsy is going to Harper City tonight, catching the night train. But she's not leaving the show. Of course not. But she's going on ahead to Harper City. You see what that means, Boris? Ah, oh, yes, I do see what you mean. The inheritance. Of course. A fine, attentive suitor you are. First thing we'll know, she'll have a fortune in her hands with a million suitors after her. Now, don't you worry, Olga. Patsy and I are already what these Americans call show me. 
What about Jason? Oh, that lion tamer. <laughs> Don't you worry about him. I give him a good run for his money. For her money, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> you are a very shrewd woman, Olga. Between you and me, the Russo family should prosper. Yes. We will have our circus, and it will not be long. All of our planning and saving has not been for nothing. I'll tell you about that. When is Patsy leaving? I found that out for you. She's catching a train at 11. It is almost 10.30. Oh, I have so little time. You must help me. There is a large drugstore on the corner two blocks south. Yes, I know. Uh, those wooden buildings are all destroyed, but that drugstore is left. Run over there, telephone for a taxi, and buy the biggest box of candy you can find in the store. Good. That is right. I will do it. I must say, Boris, when you work, you work fast. <laughs> With a fortunate stake, of course I do. I, I want that taxi at the front of the lot at 15 minutes of 11. Sure. Understand? Yes, of course. They will be there. Uh, good. I will not forget you, Olga. I hope not, Boris. I should like to go to Harper City with her, but it would be perhaps too obvious. Yes, you are right. Well, I must hurry. Good luck, Boris. Uh, thank you, Olga. I will run it over to Patsy's wagon now. I will probably catch her just before she leaves. <laughs> Ah, uh, listen to that dog barking this time of night. Frank, be still. Oh, right. that boy, too. Oh, hello there, Boris. Hello. Frank, be quiet. Oh, he's so excited, Boris, because we're going to take Patsy to the station. What? You are taking Miss Patsy? Yeah, why not? Well, that is very strange. I, I have just arranged to take Miss Patsy myself. What? Certainly. I have a taxi waiting on the corner now. I have bought Miss Patsy some candy. I thought it was quite understood. Oh, Oh, I... Well, but I thought that... You certainly aren't going to make it uncomfortable, are you, by trying to intrude? Why, of course not, only... Well, I thought she was expecting me and... Uh, but you see, she isn't. Uh, there, now it's all taken care of. You, you can run along. Well, at least you'll think it funny if I don't say goodbye. Well, really, Jerry, it's quite late now. You'll only upset her and delay her. I'm sure you wouldn't want to do that. Gee, of course I wouldn't, but... Well, I had a message for her from Jason. No, that's quite all right. Give it to me. I see that she gets it. Well, of course, if you say so, but... Now, be quick, re... Jerry. There's her wagon now, and I don't want her to be rushed to the last minute. Well, I guess you'd just better say Jason's having trouble with the lions and couldn't come, but sends his best. I'll tell her. Now, run along, boy. Run along, run along. Tell her goodbye for me, too. Uh, yes, yes, of course. I'll tell her, but don't bother us now. <laughs> Never mind, Rick. We'll see her in Harper City. You know, it, it's awful funny, though, for not telling us. Yeah, I think there's something queer about all this, but I don't see what we can do about it. 